Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my channel, my name is Alison and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to review a new launch item. I was so excited to try this out. So this is the Hourglass Fell Translucent Setting Powder and I believe this is the first loose powder that they come up with with Hourglass. So I'm really excited to try this out. And I also want to compare this with my Too Faced Peach Perfect, my favorite setting powder at the moment. So I want to see the differences. So first of all, before we start start on to review on this loose setting powder let's see what this claims to be so now I just pull up the Sephora website and see what it claims to be and how much it retails first of all it retails for $46 and it only comes in 0 0.36 ounce which is 10.5 gram that's so little comparing to my Too Faced Peach Perfect it comes in 1.23 ounce 35 gram and my Laura Mercy, it comes in 1 ounce 29 grams. So that is the price difference you're paying for and getting so little product in this translucent setting powder. So this setting powder is supposed to blur the appearance of pores, fine lines, wrinkles, and airbrush finish. The innovative gold shifter and custom cap allow the perfect amount of product to dispense. That's very important to read the instruction or else I'm just going to pull out all the product. So the formula is infused with diamond powder for the most refined light refraction without any flashback and sets makeup for a longer wear. This translucent powder formulate without talc leaves an invisible finish and is perfect for all skin types, I mean all skin tones. And also I've been searching for some setting powder, it comes without talc, so I'm really excited to see this finish and how it works so now let's get on to the unpacking and see what this packaging oh my god it looks so luxurious i really like packaging like this it's easy to travel so on the front it says hourglass and it has the mirror finish on the cap it's just their signature color and on the back it says fell translucent setting powder so this is what the packaging looks like Okay, so now we're gonna open this and see what the inside looks like. So now you can tell there's a cap that it comes in this stopper. And also on the inside, it just looks like a really luxurious bowl in gold color. And on the inside, it has an H inside to pull out the powder. So I'm gonna take this off. Okay, so now this is off, so I'm gonna put it back on the cap. And just shake the product out and see what it looks like. Ooh, yeah, that's right. The perfect amount of product in one use. So this is what the cap inside looks like. It has a, like a stopper thing, but it does have some space inside, and that is how it gets the product out in the right amount. So this is all the product that you need for one use. I'm gonna do this side of my face with the hourglass and this side on my face with Too Faced and I'm gonna use it to set my under eye everything else just like how I normally do set my face. Okay so now I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Peach Perfect to set my under eye with this sponge. I also like to set my lid eyelid because I do get very oily on my eye area and then I'm gonna go in with the brush to set the rest of my face so I'm using the old brush on this Too Faced which I always use this brush to apply this particular setting powder okay so I just figured I should zoom you guys in more to see the finish of my face with this setting powder. So now this side of my face with Too Faced is already set. I don't usually go very heavy hand on my setting powder because I don't like that kind of cakey finish. So now let's set my right eye, which is your left side of my under eye and I'm using the other side of the sponge and to get this product. So now there's product on the sponge and I can tell it's kind of have that little fine shimmer. So I'm setting this just like how I usually set my under eye. So now I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and to tap this setting powder and 
I mean, there's a lot coming off on the first shake. So I'm just gonna tap it. Tap this onto my face. Okay, so I still have this much powder inside this kind of container. I don't know if I'm gonna put it back with the mess up everything. This is a lot for setting half side of my face. So I'm just gonna organize it a little, put it back into the center of this kind of container, kind of bowl looking. And I'm just gonna put the cap right back on. So I feel like this would be a nice setting powder to trouble with because it does have a stopper on the top so it's kind of stop all the product or the powder going away just kind of mess up your makeup bag so i really like this packaging on hourglass okay so now this is a close-up on how this setting powder set my face so this side of my face again is from Too Faced and this side of my face is from hourglass and Too Faced one i like it because it does blur out my pores it set my under eye perfectly and it does have a little tint of pink on this loose setting powder on the Too Faced one. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it does kind of set my face for a nice smooth finish. Okay, so this side of my face, I set it with my Hourglass loose setting powder. And right off the bat, if I set it underneath my eye, like my dark circle, I can see it kind of separate my concealer and my foundation. It shows up my concealer on top and it kind of separate it. So I won't suggest you guys to set your under eye with this loose setting powder. But then overall on this side of my face, I feel like it looks brighter. It looks very natural finish. But I don't know how it's going to control the oil. I don't know if that's supposed to control. Because I know the Too Faced one, it does help to reduce your oil produce on your face. But I feel like this one, it's just more like give you a blur finish. And if you guys have wrinkles, you guys can use this product because it kind of blurs out, smooth out your skin. But I don't think it's necessary to control your oils because I don't think it claims to do that. So this is what the finish. I feel like it brightens up this side of my face. It feels very smooth. But I feel like this side of my face is a lot smoother, but it's a little bit tint pink and darker on my face than this side and i feel like this side is a little bit more dewy finish because it does have little tiny little pearls inside i don't think it's very obvious so when i put this loose setting powder on the back of my hand i feel very smooth kind of finish and it does really brighten out your skin tone it looks very very natural like a little shame but it's not shimmery or something, it's just something that is smooth out your skin, looks very healthy looking. And this is the finish on this side of my face. I mean, this is the finish on this side of my hand and this is my natural skin. And this is what after using a loose setting powder from Hourglass, you can see a little sheen going on. So this is what the powder you might look for if you guys have wrinkles, you guys want something that it brightens up your face complexion and you guys want to blur out your pores then this will be the loose setting powder for you and i mean the packaging is everything i know there's so little product inside and it only lasts you 12 months and my Too Faced is lasting me 12 months laura mercier is lasting for okay so my laura mercier is a little bit old it doesn't say how long it will last for i purchased this for a very long time and I'm still using it. I don't have any problem with it. So again, I don't think this would be a good setting powder to set your under eye concealer, but this would be a good setting powder to set the rest of your face if you guys want a brighter kind of finish, blur looking finish on your face. Okay, so one last step, I'm gonna test this loose setting powder on the hourglass and see if it blends well with my Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. So I'm just gonna do my contour as usual, how I do it on my face. And for blush, I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek First Love. This is the shade. Okay, so now I have my contour and blush on and it does 
blend very nicely on the loose setting powder from Hourglass. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep this Hourglass loose setting powder because I do like the finish it gives me, but I'm not gonna set my concealer, my underneath eye concealer anymore with this because it does kind of separate my concealer. So I suggest you guys try it out before you really head out to the door and see your concealer if it set it well. I do have this problem, but I have to try it a few times to see if it just a touch shape tape or should I use another concealer to try it with this loose setting powder combo and lastly I'm really digging this packaging hourglass it never fails and I genuinely just love a lot of the products it looks very natural finish to be honest before I purchased this I was hesitant to purchase hourglass or the Marc Jacobs loose setting powder they come up with this new coconut collection loose setting powder I was debating and then after I saw hourglass and I'm just like I love their stuff and their stuff always looks super natural on me so I just go for my hourglass instead of the March Jacobs loose setting powder so that is all my review here I hope this review does help you guys out to pick on this product and if you guys like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe down below to see more review coming on and I'll see you guys in the next one bye